Okay, this is a quick video to show you how to use Volume Shadow Service to restore files that have been deleted recently. So by default, it's installed on all Windows 7 workstations, um, but it may be disabled for you. So what you want to do is make sure that the service is running. You click the Start menu, click the search box, type in services.msc, and that'll bring this guy up. This will be the list of the all the Windows and non-Windows services, and they should be in alphabetical order. What you'll want to look for is what's called Volume Shadow Service. So let's expand this out. Volume Shadow Copy. So there you go. Start that guy open. Now let's make sure that the Volume Shadow Service is actually running. And it actually shows you right there, started. It's a manual service, so you have to manually start it. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and see if we can show you how this works. Right here is my Snagit license. You would uh, um, think that this is very important. Well, I definitely don't want that to go away. And if I shift delete, it's going to make it go away permanently. It's not in the recycling bin. It's just gone. But I need that. If I ever reinstall, I'm going to want that file. So. Here's how what we do. Click on the Start menu, and then go to Computer. This is going to bring up this particular screen that shows you the different uh, drives that you have installed, as well as drives with remo removable media. Um, so that file was on my desktop, which is stored on the C drive. So if I right-click on the C drive, go down to Properties, it's going to open up this Properties dialog. Inside here, if you click on the Previous Versions tab, you're going to have a list of all the previous versions of this particular snapshot. Well, it actually hasn't changed since it was in, I was put there. But So let's go to yesterday's copy. As you can see, it's opening an Explorer style window and it has yesterday's date inside there. This means that this is the shadow copy of yesterday. Our user profile is stored under the C users. In here you see my name. In here you'll see all the different folders for my user profile. It has the ntuser.dat file which is my registry um, for the HK current user settings. It has all the different stuff in here, my pictures, local settings, my downloads. But where we deleted that file was off the desktop. So let's go to the desktop. And wouldn't you know, right there is a copy of that file I deleted. I want to get that back. So I choose Copy. We're just going to plop it right back where it was. There you go. And of course, it's not restricted to just your user profile. This also houses program files. The one restriction that I do believe is enforced is that it's really only enabled by default for your C drive. So I have my backup drive. I go to properties. There are no previous versions listed here. That means I haven't configured volume shadow copy for this volume, which is fine. So if you delete something and the something that you've deleted is off of the same drive that your operating system is installed on, you can use Volume Copy Service, well, Volume Shadow Copy, and restore that file, as I've just shown you. 